All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Thursday, April 19th, 2018. All right, so today, uh, not a whole lot going on, astrologically speaking. We do have the moon still in Taurus, which was the case yesterday. So theme still probably about taking things slowly and steadily, uh, stopping to smell the roses, and really accessing the resourceful aspects of both our inner selves and our reality as well. So um, other than that, the moon is going to be squaring up to Neptune. So there could be a bit of sensitive energy on a minor note today. And this part of the week, Venus does shift into Taurus. So we could notice our values are actually shifting a little bit more into this uh, earthy energy of Taurus. All right, so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Thursday. Again, this channel is for sidereal astrology. We're using the actual size of the constellations. So do check out the link down below for more information. All right, so Taurus the bull. Uh, we have the moon exalted here, as was the case yesterday, and Venus shifting uh, closer to Taurus this part of the week. So themes today more than likely around this. Uh, we could be feeling a bit like wanting to take things slowly, steadily, feeling this bit of stable energy of Taurus and maybe themes uh, in the external environment maybe about resources right really good day for enjoying the simple life uh, our material values and possibly just connecting to earth and being grateful for everything that she does provide so that's going to be the uh, theme with the moon but <clears throat> uh, for these upcoming weeks we do have Venus shifting into here so we may notice that we're valuing these things a little bit more more of the grounded, earthy aspects of life. And when it comes to our relationships, maybe we're connecting a little bit more on this level, right? On the grounded level. Um, enjoying things together in relationships, like a good meal, relaxation, earth, these types of things, uh, can be the theme with this shift of our values um, this part of the week. All right, so uh, other than that, of course, the backdrop is we're still in the very early phases of this new moon that just took place last weekend. So still great to be slowly building some momentum this lunar month. And a lot of it uh, did have to do with Pisces. We still have the Sun and Mercury in Pisces. Even though the Sun is starting to finish up uh, this constellation um, late this week, the Sun will be shifting into Aries. Uh, but still, great day nonetheless, as it has been for receptivity, connecting to that present moment, accepting what is, finding that peace and tranquility within. In fact, maybe from yesterday, integrating a bit of this freedom with that, with the sun still very close to Uranus, can still be a great uh, part of the week for um, expressing ourselves, trying new things, um, expressing our individuality, spontaneity, and just that progressive energy of Uranus, really that change and freedom which can be invoked at this time. All right, so that's the uh, backdrop as you can see here in the aspects, no major aspects going exact. But we do have the moon uh, squaring up to Neptune. So on a minor note, you know, these lunar aspects are more minor in nature, may have to do more with how we're feeling. And it all of it really depends on how we uh, work with it. So with this, uh, maybe a bit of sensitive energy. <clears throat> Collectively, it's possible. Maybe wanting to escape um, squares to Neptune can be over or under extremes with Neptune. Neptune is like that Pisces energy where on one extreme we may want to um, dream or idealize things, kind of get into the fantasy realm. Or on the under, under uh, extreme of it, we could be, you know, sort of apathetic or not wanting to engage too much into the physical world. So really good ways of working with this is essentially grounding the constructive energies of spirituality, just like that Pisces, maybe, maybe things like meditation, um, bringing some extra conscious attention to the now moment, to the mind, spiritual activities, psychological stuff if we want to do that, and creative stuff as well actually. Squares to Neptune can be very good for using that sort of imagination and receptive energy in constructive ways. All right, so that's the day in a nutshell. I think most importantly it is uh, just these themes relating to Taurus, the resourceful aspects of life both inwardly and uh, externally uh, with the moon. And more than likely, this part of the week, our value shifting 
to more of this earthy type of energy. All right, so have a great day, everyone. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the daily forecast.